I'm sure it's in the menu. Bag of controllers, possibly. I guess he's upgraded from his box. Okay, this is the actual game. They struck the FD. Ooh, Abu, you are not going to have a good time. Just rushes him down with that neutral there, calling that he's going to, like, run away. Whenever Puff lands, like, that's when you got to, like... Generally, when she's in the air, you can just kind of avoid her, but, like, when she's... when Every time she lands, like, every Puff will choose an option. Wow, great pickup. Nair ups it. Um, every Puff will pick an option, whether it's, like, wave dashing away, dashing away, jumping again. Like, all of them are punishable by different things by Fox, which makes this matchup really, really frustrating. And then sometimes you just get lucky, too, as, like, both characters. Everyone says, oh, well, you, you make four mistakes. Like, look, you just got grabbed. No, he's fine. Um, wow, Mango just up smashes that. Doesn't kill quite yet. Okay, let's see. He off to jump that time. And Mango just... Wow, I've never actually seen that punish. That was sweet. But no one knows his character like Mango does. CT. Cloud9, Mango. Nice drill grab. Yeah, back here again. Okay, Ops did not laser this time. He's just going in. He's gonna. I think he's testing what Abu does at the ledge, so that uh, he can, you know, take notes on him later. Maybe finish this a little faster. I think that's what Mango's thinking anyway. Nice wave dash out. A lot of foxes usually opt to like jump or something out of shield. Wave dash out is good when like you're at center stage. It gives you way more options. Nice. Okay, he just takes that hit. Let's see what this leads into. Nice up air. Pretty much an uncoverable option, unless you like hard read it. Nice. All the pressure. Ooh, I thought he was going to shine grab there. Big combo. 49% is huge on Jigglypuff. Like, 10 more percent? Maybe one more. I'm going to say one more move. That's a dead. Oh, no, it's living. Cool up tilt. But I'm going to say one more move or, like, four more lasers. And up, okay, I think up smash will kill after one more laser. I don't know if that'll kill. Ooh, so close. You don't want to get Jigglypuff to, like, 105. Otherwise, like, you have to get her from 105 to, like, 130 before back air kills. So, like, you generally want to try and kill her at this percent. And, like, you don't want to mess around. You want to shield a lot of moves and run around. That's what Mango's doing. He's looking for his big hit that's going to lead into a kill move. He's just waiting. He's not going to risk anything. Soft back air. <laughs> All right. And now he's, now he's at the percent where up throw up air doesn't really work. So he's just kind of throwing out other moves. Yeah, up tilt. That will kill. Yeah, I forget. That's true. Up tilt does kill. And it's actually relatively safe. Although it's still punishable by like one aerial, but like if you guess right, you get a kill. If if she guesses right, she gets damage. Like it's that, that's the kind of mix-up you're playing as Jigglypuff. Once you get high percents, anyway, he just goes in with an air, no regard for his life. Nice try. Oh, great up tilt on the land. Almost gets two. Thanks on the laser too. That was sweet. Pew pew. Almost gonna kill him. Yo, that's my games. Abu not hitting those. The mango effect. Kicking in. Nobody hits SCIs. I th Ooh, that's a rest? Ooh, that was actually kind of cool. I don't know about the wave land, though. Once, you, once you've, like, r risen above the platform, get-up attack is, like, kind of unpunishable. And basically, that's what you're going for as Fox. How do I not get rested right now? And uh, get-up attack was a really good option, actually. That Nair, I guess, <laughs> just didn't do anything for him. That's a re-grab again. Yep. Mango will take that. Ooh. Catches him with the Firebird. Land, waste from the land. Abu with some like tricky like weaving in between them there. This will be a kill. That's a dead fox. I don't know about that last four there. But that's him to kill anyway. 54%, almost kill percent. Founder Dream is a little different than FD, but yeah. Up smash kills, up throw, up air still combos. This is this is prime. Oh yeah, so up air, I'm guessing. Grab. Grab him. No my god. That was so close. Oh, the crouch cancel. Okay. Now I have to. I don't even know the percents for crouch cancel and when that kills. Up tilt does not kill quite yet. That'll kill. Nice back air. Hard back air. Fresh at like 105. Sick. Up throw. See, the up air there would have not only been an up air, but like stage control and like laser damage as he's coming down. Plus, like, he gets to force Puff into an option when she lands, which is like the best part about this matchup. You just run around and make Puff make decisions every time she misses a move. Like, look, if you're, imagine you're Puff right now. Oh, you just take an up air. And another one, like, how demoralizing. You don't, you're not even a comboable character, and you just take two, two of, like, the hardest hits in the game. He gets in. Just to, like, he throws out that up smash. Like, that's not going to work. Okay. Okay, he goes in, and, oh, that was a really quick back air, actually. That was, like, new. I've never seen Abu do that. It kind of caught Mango off guard, and that's why he lost the stock. Because, like, usually he follows his moves with, like, wave dashes or something. <laughs> Big forward smash. Oh, man. Sick. Nice snap. Mango's just smothering him. Oh. Signs of a reaction player. Getting hit by that gut attack. Big back. 
that's a great one to learn. The late back air falling through the platform. No one expects it. They think they're all safe under that thing. That's it, yeah. He fell in with the neutral air and Mango. Mango actually, like, the first time he punished, he waited for him to land and then he got clipped by that back air. And, like, Mango's like, okay, that cost me the stock. But then he did it again and that's where, like, you have to give respect to Mango. Like, you can't just assume that he's not going to change. And, like, he just up smashed him right as he was coming in. I, like, I bet Abu would have landed to, like, retreating back air, but Mango was, like, one step ahead. And, like, punishing the thing, pu yeah. Punishing that thing that's like before getting punished is like is is really cool, and that's something that Mango and a lot of top level players do actually. So uh, congrats to him. Mango moves on to fourth rounders, which in a 64 person bracket is like not even quarters. I don't think. Ooh.